Hello, this is Neko Power, and welcome back. I hope everyone enjoyed the last episode. Slightly episode dodgy. We had the starting off with the shopping, and then we had the cream and door go everywhere, and the very embarrassing bath time. That was actually a shower, but it was called a bath. Um, yeah, hopefully. There won't be much of that to come. If that's not the right word to use, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's carry on with this episode. Uh, I covered the ball of dough with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. It's not like we'll ever have a packed house on opening day. So this much dough should be enough. All that was left was, be to, was to be prepared when the bakery actually opens. Okay, the only thing that still needs to be done is to cut up the fruit for the toppings and then I'm done. I stretched out and looked at the clock. The hour hand had already moved from 11 o'clock to midnight. Stretched out. Is it like, I know you can't see, I'm like... Yawning. I didn't know what he quite meant by stretched out as if like you're getting ready to go to the gym or something and you can probably hear my squeaky chair. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Chocolate, vanilla, I'm almost done. So you two can go and sleep first. Hmm? Fwaa. Oh, like that. I looked over my shoulder to see the two of them sleeping fitfully on the sofa. They stood up. Does, does he know that they're actually stood up and they're not laying down? You do get the feeling that in the adult version of this game, I bet they're actually scantily clad laying out on the sofa. In the safe version, they just pop them in front of you and close their eyes. <clears throat> they leaned against each other cosily, smiling as if in the middle of a wonderful dream. And they said they'd be awake until I finished. They'd been full of activity since the morning, so they were probably exhausted. I crouched down and poked both their cheeks. Stop poking people! Stop bonking them on the head. Stop rubbing them in what always sounds like inappropriate parts. Hmm, yes, welcome. No, that's... Hmm, yeah, welcome back. Chocolate is Lala Shills. Booster girl. Chocolate. Chocolate. Wow. Master, we're out of tea. Hurry up and bake the next cakes. Hurry, hurry. Chocolate and vanilla were one step ahead, acting as waitresses in their dreams. It sounded like they were in a rush, as if Lola was packed. They really are still children, aren't they? Not after last episode. Let's hope they're not. They were cute, like children excited before the start of a trip. I gently rubbed them both. Stop rubbing people! <laughs> what is it with him? And the sweet smell of... Hang on. And the sweet smell of their leave and hair treatment tickled my nose. Oh god. That guy's gonna go to jail. Come on, you two. You can't sleep here, you okay? You're going to bed. Well, you shouldn't touch chocolate while you're working, master. I oh, know I can't do the jolly. You shouldn't touch chocolate while you're working, master. That's sexual harassment. No, that's sexual harassment, master. You can't do that to customers. Even I'm holding back. What are you two talking about? It didn't look like they had any intention of waking up. Or any other choice. 
I picked them up one at a time and carried them to the bedroom. I bet you did. Master? Meow. Master. Staff, staff. You two really are a handful. I covered the two closely curled up cat girls with a blanket. Once more, I gently rubbed their heads before I quietly closed their bedroom door. Do you think rubbing is his fetish? That's what he does. Just, just rubs everything. Okay, just one last bit. I just got to rub over here and rub over there. Alone in the... Oh no. Alone in the living room, I stretched out, took a deep breath while I rubbed. I need to work even harder tomorrow. For chocolate and vanilla sakes too. As I murmured the names of my precious family members, I stretched out my hands and continued by and just does not sound right. As I murmured the names of my precious family, like who have you got? Is it Shigui? Up to now, his little sister. I don't know. I I don't think I've ever like walked around the house murmuring the name of my sister or my mum or dad. It's not really something you do, is it? Or is it, it just could be me. I don't know. We we all couldn't. Everyone else could just murmur the names of their family members as rubbing stuff and stretching out. <laughs> Quite right. Nekopara. Nekopara. Birds? Oh. Master, someone's approaching the bakery. Everyone in battle stances, are you ready? It would be quicker to go forth and capture them. I'll do it well. So leave it to me. Wait, wait, wait. It's only been five minutes since we've opened. I must admit, it's not like a bad looking shop like. Look at that cake and donuts. And cake and donuts and cake and donuts. It's a little bit sparse, so you could have had a few more tables in here. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. The two of them hid by the window as if stalking prey. Even though we're finally open, they were, unsurprisingly, no customers waiting to come in. I placed my elbows on the counter while I gazed at the backs of the two gat girls, I in the short short skirts. It's fine if you wait for the customers to come in before interacting with them. If you brace yourself like that from the start, then you'll get tired quickly. Vanilla, look! That girl's walking over here! She looks like someone who really likes sweets. Oh, sweets. But chocolate? That's not really a nice thing to say. Why? Do they... <laughs> the, the beach is fat! Is that what they mean? Oh, sweet, but chocolate. That's not really... A <laughs> Sorry, that just could be me jumping to... But how do you... The, the, the mean she's the overweight. I don't know what the proper friend... PC correct friendly way to put that is. <laughs> I read that and thinking, what do they mean? Because we obviously can't see them, yeah? That obviously, that's what chocolate means. Just like, it very innocently means that. And vanilla sees it slightly different. 
You should be careful of saying that in front of customers. Um, not that I she could hear you. Yep, yep, that's exactly what they mean. Bloody hell. The two cat girls didn't so much as turn at you in my direction. Well, they see them that hopeful for customers did pain me a bit as their owner. Well, since we've just started, we should be patient. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, is this going to be a regular character or not? I can't do voices. Um, hell, hello. I'm trying to think if I can do like a high pitched one. Excuse me. No, I can't do it. Ex oh, fuck it. I'm just going to have to keep my normal voice. Excuse me. No. Excuse me. Pretty hell, isn't that fancy? We are welcome. We are welcome. We yeah, are. What's going on? No, I can't do it. What? Would you like to uh, be out of? How special is that? Uh, um, that that thing over there, like that. We also have black tea, um, the warm kind and the cold kind, um, the hot kind and um, the cold kind. Will you two calm down? I pulled them back after they quickly set themselves upon the custom who just walked in. I'm terribly be sorry about that. I'm the owner of this bakery, Minadaku. Have we actually ever had his name before or not? Minad Minaduku. Min all right, Minadaku. It's good enough. Our menu is over here. Please pursue at your leisure. Hmm? Miss Don't say it's like another cat girl, is it? Hmm, taking into account the location and use of colour, this is quite a splendid storefront. The introspective feel makes for a simple basis of design, while the knickknacks and such create a relax relaxing atmosphere, how wonderful. The un- Friggin' hell, give me a chance, game. There was an uncharacteristically large pair of glasses that didn't suit her face or build. The, oh. Then there was her anachronistic Tashu era mantle and military cap. An anachronistic. I don't think I've ever heard of that word in my life. Anachronistic. I feel like I should add that to the Google list of what's the definition of anachronistic. Finally, there were her grandiose way of speaking, which didn't match the familiar voice. Hmm. I've taken a liking to this place. I shall buy every cake you have available. But she doesn't look like someone who eats cake. Not regularly, anyway. Now then, good sir. You may pack up all the cakes here. Ah, do you take credit cards? Yes. Ah, oh, shigooey. What are you doing, you plonker? Ha 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 ha! Who is this Shigui, sir? You must have mistaken me for someone else. Say what you like, but that's your name. There's no way a young lass, such a pretty and earnest little sister to her older brother, would great sister place like this with her presence. So, right. Very well, I won't pay heed to such rudeness. There's no reason to put a dampener on your grand opening, after all. In that case, would you cut the crazy routine? And yeah, the game's already told us that you're Shiguri. It already brings up your name. Besides, how did you even know where my bakery is? Uh, Vanilla buggered off last episode, didn't they, when they were in the chemistry drugstore? I bet she's phoned Shiguri or... Something she's yeah, let her know. 
I didn't tell anyone. I, I, in any case, just scurry along and prepare all the cakes that you have. I will pay your asking price quickly now. What? Now you're a robber. What rudeness to only show deference to certain customers. That attitude might chase away, say, a high-class customer who'd come in every day at opening and buy you out. When it comes to business, you won't get anywhere if you don't jump at every opportunity to make money. Besides, to see Nisami give me such a cold look is making me sad. I'm sad. And after I held back until today to do something to help you too. Huh. Look, I'm not being picky here, you little shit. Not only has she now burst into tears, but her facade was in shambles. I had no, no clue what to say other than laugh. Ah, shukuri chan it's been a while. How have you been? Shukuri, what's with the outfit? Is that what people are wearing now? Uh, you're, you're mistaken, I am not... I'm not this Shiguri, uh, Chan you speak of. Ah, ah, stop, don't pull on my cloak. Ah, ah, wait. Ah. Oh. Have they killed her? Where the friggin' Elise do you come from? She certainly looks like a Sailor Moon knockoff. So, we're all these hiding in their cloak. Where, where have these all come from? How... It feels like I've only pressed the space bar once. Well, yeah. Anyway, I'm just looking at the time. I get the feeling we're now going to go through every single cat girl, and if I remember at the house, I don't know if they had about seven or eight or something. So I think I'm actually going to call it here. It's going to be a little bit of a short episode, but I don't want... Yeah, if we're going to go for everything cat, I think this might take a while. And I think you're going to have to wait for next episode to find out who the Sailor Moon knockoff is. Who's she in some sort of tartan. And I would imagine what all the rest of them look like. Right, thank you very much guys, and see you next time.